Professional software can bring any video to the next level even in the hands of a beginner. That's what usually the creators of such software say. But many filmmakers would tell you that the skills are what really matter and also what software you use does not make a huge difference. So who's right and who's wrong? To find out, I've decided to make a challenge. A beginner goes for Adobe Premiere Pro, while a pro filmmaker is given such a simple program as Movavi Video Editor. So wanna know whose edit is the best? Keep watching this episode. Hello there, my name is Roman and you're watching Movavi Vlog, your go-to channel for making greater videos. And today it's time for a challenge. Well, this is my girlfriend Alice. Alice, say hi. Hi. You don't usually get to see Alice in the frame, but she helps me a lot when we shoot videos for Movavi Vlog. Yet she isn't really into editing. In fact, Alice hasn't edited a single video on a desktop program, only short clips for Instagram posts and stories via smartphone apps. Which makes her a perfect beginner for our today's experiment. That's why she got to use Adobe Premiere, a pro-level software for video editing. Meanwhile, I myself was a pro in this challenge and was using Movavi Video Editor Plus. I know this program pretty well since I've been using it for years. It's sure not a professional program, it's totally for beginners. Yet it has lots of useful features and I certainly know how to use them. For the challenge. Alice and I took the same original footage we had shot together during our 2019 trip to Berlin. This is amateur footage shot on a smartphone so we could focus on editing in post-production in this challenge, not the way it is filmed. So both of us had the same source files and a two hours limit for editing. I was a pro on a rather beginner level program, Movavi Video Editor Plus. Alice was a beginner on Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's find out how it turned out, starting with Alice. But right before we get to the Alice part of the challenge, let me ask you to like this video really quick, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Is that all right? Awesome. Let's continue then. Well, as a beginner, Alice had a hard time trying to get used to Adobe Premiere. With zero tutorials watched, it wasn't easy to even start a project and make first cuts. Because with such pro-level programs, you gotta set all the parameters for your project very specifically right before you start and then create a sequence. Only after following these steps, you can start editing. Then it become easier for Alice. She got the concept of the Adobe Premiere sequence, timeline, project library, source monitor, preview window and razor tool. She started to select the desired clips, check them in the source monitor, drag them to the timeline and use the razor tool to cut the clips, keep the desired parts and delete the unwanted. Yet it killed a lot of time to get used to it. Also, Alice later told me that dragging the clips together, pulling their edges and filling the gaps at first seemed very uncomfortable. But she did it. When all the clips were arranged together the way Alice wanted them to be arranged, she still has some time to live up the video. So she decided to add some transitions. Video transitions in Premiere Pro are divided into categories and again are not so easy to find for a beginner. You can only see the names, so you have to try each transition to find the best one, which Alice had to do. Next, Alice decided not to spend too much time on browsing the program's features. Instead, she started to search for a way to add music for her project. Wise move, because for videos of such genre, music is almost always essential. Unfortunately, Adobe Premiere Pro does not have any royalty-free music collections, so Alice had to search for music elsewhere. Importing the selected audio file to Premiere wasn't difficult. Alice discovered the volume control level and volume points. She added new points and moved them up and down to achieve smooth audio fade-in and fade-out effects. What about video effects and color grading? 
Too bad for a beginner, Premiere Pro does not have any easy solution in this case. There are no filters Ellie could find and apply right away. There are great plugins and effects like Lumetric Color, which follow their own logic and sound can be so complex so they need to be mastered separately. So Ellie's only had time to apply a built-in LUT and lower its intensity. The final touch Ellie's did was adding titles. There are again no title presets, only a simple title tool. Alice chose a different font and color to liven up the video. But before we continue and check out the video Alice did, I want to share some cool news with you guys. Movavi holiday sale is underway. Well, I know this year has been quite eventful and maybe a little bit crazy, so I'm pretty sure many of you just want to spend this holiday season with the people you love. And I think creating Christmas video or postcard might be a good and safe way to show your family and friends how much you appreciate them. And this is what most of the mobile products are just made for. All the video and photo editing tools you might need to create your gift are on our special site page Movavi Video Editor Plus 2021, the brand new Movavi Video Suite, Photo Suite, our best-selling themed effect sets and many other cool options are available at great prices. So hit the link down below to pick one of the selected Movavi items and use our special promo code Happy Holidays to get an additional discount on any hot deals you like. Enjoy your shopping and happy holidays! Now let's get back to the challenge. Let's see the video our beginner Alice did using Premiere Pro. Not bad at all. Honestly, I was impressed. It's not a drag project, it's a complete amateur video. Great result for a beginner. I can tell when I first got to Premiere, my first videos were not as great as this one. Not even close. Now it's time for me as a pro to show you what I can do out of the same source footage within the same two hours using a simple program for beginners, Movavi Video Editor Plus. Since the program is very intuitive and I know exactly what to do, I did not waste a minute on learning the interface and figuring out what to do. Instead, I got a chance to save some time and get straight to sorting the footage out and selecting the best of it. On default, in Mobavi Video Editor, clips snap together automatically, so all you have to do is shuffle the clips, trim them, and here we go. Most of the editing is done already and we can spend more time on fine-tuning it. Which I did! I decided to check out some transitions. There are tons of ready-made presets. They are divided into categories and I had an advantage to preview them before applying to the clips on the timeline. Yet for this type of video, it's not the best idea to go hard on transitions. So I decided to look for great music and audio effects. Again, Movavi Video Editor features a lot of built-in copyright-free content. The same way Alice did in Premiere, I added a music track on my choice, adjusted the overall volume and added the volume points. These dots helped me to set up smooth audio fade-in and fade-out. Then I got to the color adjustment part. In Movavi Video Editor, there are many ready-made presets and you can adjust the intensity as you apply them. And there are also a great selection of manual adjustment settings. Finally, titles. Again, Movavi features tons of ready-made title presets, both simple and fancy animated mind-blowing titles. I chose this simple title preset, changed the color and font, but without animation it looked too boring. So I went to the animation presets menu and applied animation to the titles in no time. 
For this video, I decided not to go too crazy on titles and effects. Yes, there are tons of them in the program. Because that would be just me showing off, you know, and demonstrating the capabilities of the program, but it's not the case for today. Alright, it's time for my move. Ready to see my version of the video? Let's do this. You know what? I think that wouldn't be fair if I decided who was number one in this challenge. Instead, I'd like you to decide. What do you think? Are you voting for Alice or you like my video better? Or maybe you have another opinion about this challenge? Please tell us in the comments below and type Alice if you think she wins or type Roman if you're my fan. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like. Thanks for watching, I'll see you soon.